In this question, we have a grouped frequency distribution table. And what this table tells us, the data between 50 and 54, there's 10 of them. Between 55 and 59, there's 23 of them. And etc. etc. And we want to, uh, let's hide that answer for a second, pretend like it wasn't there. We want to compute the mean. Now it's a bit tricky, we're estimating the mean. There's 10 values between 50 and 54. Now we don't know how many were 50, how many were 51, how many were 52, how many were 53 or 54, but there was 10 in that range. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take 50 and 54 and find the middle number between those two. So we're gonna average them. So the first thing you need to do is paste in your chart. Uh, if you don't paste it where you wanted it, I, I pasted it in the D and E columns if you need to move it, just highlight it, left click and drag, and then you can get to the edge where you have the four arrows to move it. So move it over to the D and E columns. In column A, I typed in all the small values for each of these. In column B, I typed in the big values. So pause the video, take a minute, and type in all those values. Now what I want to do with these values, there's again 10, a frequency of 10, so there's 10 values in the data between 50 and 54. I don't know exactly what numbers they are between 50 and 54, so I'm going to pretend they're all a middle value. So I'm going to average 50 and 54. So I clicked equals average, and those two parentheses. You could also put a comma in between because there's only two of them. All right, I'll slide that over a little bit. So again, I just did average of A2 and B2. That's why I had to type them in because I couldn't average the values in the format that they came in with. All right, so I'm going to do that for all of these here. So I'm going to average all those, 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 and if you have this one here on the average, you should be able to left click in the bottom corner and drag it. It needs to, your cursor needs to be a black plus in order for this to happen. All right, so that'll give you the average value of the data in each of these classes. So we're gonna be using this one. I'm gonna go ahead and make it light green. And the other important one is the light green as well. So this way I won't uh, use the wrong values, hopefully. All right, I had 10 values that were close to 52. So if I added up all 10 52s, I would get 520, or I would get 10 times 52. So if I multiply these two numbers together, that I, that's what I would get if I added up 10 52s. If I, uh, how much is 20 57s? It's tw uh, 23 57s, 23 times 57. And again, I should be able to just duplicate this down here, double click. So I did 23 times 57, and it should be the same thing all the way down. All right, so if I added up uh, 10 frequency values, uh, somewhere close to 52, I would get 520, and these same things going down here. Now I'm going to get the sum. I want the sum of the frequencies right here. Equals sum, parentheses, left click, drag, E2 to E10. 76. Copy, paste it over here. And if I double click, this is the sum right here. This is the total value. So this is what we call n, or the number of numbers, and that's the total value. And remember, average, average is always total divided by n, or the number of values. And so now I can compute this average. So the average is total divided by the number of values. 63.77. Question, accurate to one decimal place. Uh, this is around 63.8.
Uh, feel free to let Excel do that. Just put your cursor in the right uh, spot and then adjust the decimal values over 63.8. All right, so this one is a bit tricky. It's a, a little bit hard to visualize, but just remember you need to get the total for each of these classes uh, and then add up all those to get the full total and then the number of numbers, which is just the sum of the frequencies and then divide that total divided by N. Uh, 